The virtual drummer feature here in GarageBand is super cool. It lets you dial in some realistic drum sounds without much effort. But wouldn't it be even cooler if you could actually edit those drums and turn them into a regular drum track? Well, you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And we're back here in GarageBand because this is a very cool tip that I've only just learned about and I wanted to share it with you. We can transform a drummer track here into a standard green MIDI virtual track so that we can edit it, we can change up the drum kit and we can do a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's dive in and show you how. Now a big thanks to my friend Binny Sandu because the method I'm going to use here is based on a video that Binny created which is linked down in the description. So thank you for that, Benny. You rock. So as you can see, I have a couple of drummer tracks set up here. I've got Benny and I've got Dez, so that we've got one acoustic and one electronic kit, just so that you can see this can work for both. So let's take a look at Benny here. If we jump into the drummer settings, I've just set up three sections here, all eight bar sections, and you can see I've just changed up the different patterns here, just so that you can see the power of this when we export it. So if we just play one of these transitions here, And the beauty part of drummer is that you can get some really complex fills and ghost notes and things that can be super hard to program yourself, but sometimes you just want to tweak it up and change it. That's why it's cool to bring it to a MIDI track. So let's jump in and show you how we can do that now. So the secret source of this method is to create an audio recorder track. So we're going to hit the plus button there. We're going to scroll on across to audio recorder and tap on that one. And here we go. It can be anything here. We'll just go uh, the fun and the clean just so that we know it's our little microphone track there. We'll come back to our track view and what I'll do is I'll just bring this audio track just tap it and drag it there up to the top and then we just need to record in anything it doesn't matter we're going to hit the record button I don't even have a mic plugged in so it's recorded nothing but we just need that because for some reason if we just copy this drummer track and paste it into another project it will paste just the drummer track but if we copy this along with this audio recorder track like this just drag across both of them tap here tap again and tap copy this is actually going to copy the midi note data why it does this is your guess is as good as mine but it works and i'll show you how so now that we've done that what we need to do is close out of that project and create a new project with an app Actual drum track. Let's do that now. So we'll hit the plus button here to create a new song here. We're going to again hit the audio recorder and just record in a bit of nothing to start with just to get this set up. That'll do. Then we want to set up our project to match the drums that we want to bring in here. So we'll hit the track view button here. We'll do the same setup here. We'll hit the plus button here. And again, we're going to create these three sections. Now you could just use automatic section length and it will paste it all in, but I find this a little bit more convenient. Now what we need to do is come back and go to our all sections. We'll tap that one, all sections. Now we're going to hit the plus button down here and we're going to add in a regular drum track. So here's where the power of this comes in. You don't have to use the same drum track as the drummer uses. You can use whatever you like. So I'm just going to throw the Bluebird on here, one of the classic GarageBand drum kits, and there you go. So we could play in these drums just like we normally would, or we can paste in our drummer track. Now there's another little nuance here. Sometimes you can paste it in it and it will just work, but sometimes GarageBand's a little bit quirky. So what uh, what Biddy suggested in his video and what I'd always do is just duplicate out at least one more track, because sometimes it doesn't put it on that first track, it pops it on the second one. And if you're having problems, just tap again and duplicate out a few more copies of that drummer track. What we can now do though, as you can see, as we're tapping on there, we're getting this paste option. So should we get the drum roll please du -du 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 -du. very fitting and hit the paste button boom there you go so there is Benny and he has been pasted in to this as a virtual MIDI drum track and you can see that we've got complete control over these now so let's come back here now and play this track how cool is that we can come in here we can edit so we've now got complete control here's all of our kit pieces down the side there and all of our MIDI note information is here so if we want to change these around you can actually tap on each one and move them and because all the velocity information see here that there's that one there's that little ghost note so this one is at a medium velocity and this one's 
hitting hard. So it brings in all that velocity change for you, which is cool. You can use this for your whole drum track. You can use this for just some fills, but it's a really, really handy way to actually bring those in. Why don't we do another one with our electronic drums just so that you can see how flexible this method can be. So back into our drummer track here. This time we'll get rid of Benny. We'll bring Dez in. Let's just drag Dez up here. Now Dez is doing a little bit of this action. So this isn't just for your, your pop and rock folks, this is for your electronic producers too. So we can tap and drag around again, making sure that you're getting that little bit of audio that you've put in there. Tap it again, tap it again, and hit the copy button. We'll then come out of that project, back into our fresh project, which I've named my song three, because of course I have. Now what I'll do is I'll actually delete out all the Benny information here. We'll get rid of that, we'll delete it, uh, boom. And we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll come up to this top track. So we're clicking here in the blank space next to our audio recorder and we hit paste. See this time, it's decided to put it there. So it's a little bit wacky there. It's a little bit quirky with some of the things that it does. And it's probably cut off the end of Des. So we'll just undo that. We'll make sure our playhead's at the start this time. We'll tap it, we'll hit paste. There you go, that's better. And again, it's used this track. So you get some quirks here, but again, for the flexibility you get, I think it's totally worth it. And now let's take a listen. Problem, yeah? We've got it on that same Bluebird kit. So I wanted to do that deliberately just to show you that we can use any kit we like and you can bring the pattern across. But if we tap on the drum option here, we can change this to whatever we like. And this is where the power of this comes in. You can use any drums, any percussion, anything you like here. So we want it to be a big, beefy 808 sound. Well, guess what? We can make it our 808 flex kit. Right, you got that nice tuned 808 going on there and any of the other ones here. So if we go into something like our Vision and Verse pack here, the Birdland Cuts, let's take a listen to this one. Old school, yeah? We've got some old school beats going on there. So we can change up the kits here. We can change it up. And once again, if we came in here, let's just go to this next section. If we came in and we tap on that and we hit the edit button over here, then we can actually edit this beat. So we've got all of the kit pieces down the side and we can tap each one of these and actually move them around. So if we didn't want that one there, we can just remove it, tap it, delete it, remove it. We can change it to a different part, bring it up onto here. So there's uh, infinite things that we can actually do. I don't know quite what I did there. And then you can, uh, you can get yourself a really unique custom beat and groove. So as I said, really cool for entire drum tracks. Really cool if you just want to bring some fills in if you've programmed out your drum kit and then you've got a drummer fill that you want on there. So let's say you've got a drummer that's on a kit that you don't like, like Anders uses that heavy kit. You want Anders to be on the Bluebird kit. Guess what? You copy your Anders drummer, you throw him on the Bluebird kit and it's good to go. So a very cool option here for getting our drummers over onto a drum track. Let's do one more example of this because my buddy Kyle feels like he's missing out and it's not a GarageBand drummer video without Kyle in the mix. So we'll, I've just deleted that track. You can only have two drummer tracks on any project. So we're going to come in here, more drummers. We're going to go to acoustic. There he is, the OG Kyle himself in the flesh. So let's hit play on Kyle. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll mute out Dez while we're playing. <laughs> Otherwise, Kyle and Dez probably don't play nicely together. There's Kyle. Classic Kyle, right? Nice. So what we can do here is once again, we're going to come back to our track view and uh, it's, it's very cool to be able to just copy these across. But the other thing we can do is actually split out our drums so you get complete control. So if you've ever wanted to say EQ or change the volume of your kick drum versus your snare versus your, your cymbals, this is how we can do that. So if we tap and drag again across all of these using the same method we've used a bunch of times now, hit the copy button, leave that project, go to our project with our drums down here. Uh, we'll get rid of Des you've done your business des you can go away tap delete and then once again bring our playhead to the start tap in here see i'm learning as i go hit paste and there you go it's thrown kyle down here on our bluebird kit which is cool because we probably want kyle on the bluebird and here he is there's our man kyle doing his thing. So here's the cool thing though, we can actually split these up into separate tracks. Now the first thing I'd probably do here just to make it easy on ourselves is to actually copy, uh, sorry, to join these together. So we just highlight them all, tap, tap again, and hit the join button. That's just gonna make it one continuous MIDI track. Then what I'll do is I'll actually duplicate out a bunch of tracks because what we're gonna do is split out each drum piece, each drum kit piece onto a different track. So if we come in here, we tap there, we go edit, 
and we come in here. Let's do the kick drum first because this is the one that you'll probably want to make sure you've got control over. So all we need to do for this is just zoom all the way in like that. And I'm just going to click and hold on the bottom here. Oh, just got to get to the right of it. It's a little bit tricky. Hang on. Let's see if I, I can zoom in a little bit here. We'll, we'll tap outside of there. And there you go. We've got all those kick drums. We just need to tap on one of them, hit copy, and then, in fact, we'll hit cut because that way we'll remove the kick drum from here. So we'll cut the kick drum from that track. We'll hit done. And then here in a second track, we're simply going to come in here and edit and we're going to paste it in. So we're going to tap and paste. And there's all those kick drums that have gone into there. So now we've still got our two drum tracks. It's going to sound exactly the same, except we've got our kick drum here. So if we click play and everything else is up here. I'll just show you that one more time with the snare drum, just so that you uh, get this method down. It's pretty simple once you get started with it. We'll go in there, we'll hit edit. This time we're going to find our snares. So there's all of our snares. We'll go to the end here again and we'll tap outside. Oops, I tapped on the snare. We'll tap outside the snare and drag. Drum roll, please. And we'll tap on that one and hit the copy button. And then we're going to come out again. We're going to go to a fresh track. We're going to edit it with nothing in it. Uh, just bring our playhead back just for consistency. Hit paste. And there's our snare track. Easy as that. And again, you only have to do this once and then you've got it down. So here it is. We've now got everything. Actually, did we use copy that time? I think we used copy, didn't we? This is a, this is a trap. Yeah, there you go. So I just need to delete those snares out. Otherwise, we'll have double snare action. <laughs> So we'll just get rid of all of that. Oh, I got rid of that one too. That's all right. Don't do that. <laughs> so we'll delete all those. All right, cool. So now we have everything else on this first track and then we've got our kick and our snare. So let's bring in our kick drum here at the start. So that's our snare. There's our kick. Or our bass drum as we call it here in Australia. There's our snare drum. And then the rest of our kit. And that is cool because now we can actually adjust the volume. That snare hitting a bit too hard, we can actually drop the volume down. Want more kick? And then you can actually do some of the cool things like adding just separate EQ, distortion, compression to just your kick drum, just your snare, and just your cymbals. So you can split it all out and have separate drums on separate tracks. So there you go. We've gone from having a drummer track to bring it into a MIDI track to being able to bring it into separate tracks to actually EQ and compress and do all of our effects separately. So there you go. The drummer, not just something to program in anymore. You can get complete control over your drum if you want to. Thanks again to my friend Binny for this suggestion. Great idea and great method. Hope you found it useful. There's more videos about drummer and other drum related topics down in the description. Hit the like button if you got some value out of this one and I'll see you next time.